I, I believe it, it, they were Amber's family and friends. That's why he let them live there. Owning five penthouses between 2013 and 2016, Johnny Depp claimed in court he had let his ex-wife's friends live on his property free of charge. That is, after Amber Heard chased Depp's family out of the houses, one of them being the actor's older sister, Christy. A spotlight was drawn upon Depp's California real estate when details of his property were mentioned in court during the defamation case, which handed him the win in the end. Between 2013 and 2016, Depp owned five penthouses located on the top floor of the historic Eastern Columbia Building on Broadway in the theater district of downtown Los Angeles. While married to Amber, she treated her family and friends in all the houses, eliminating anyone close to Depp. So how did Depp's family feel about this? Let's find out. One of Depp's friends who lived in the penthouses was Isaac Baruch. Baruch explained to the jury that he had known Depp since they were teenagers, and as part of a financial support arrangement, the actor let him live in one of the penthouses. The Oscar nominee and his ex-wife lived next door and shared an adjoining balcony leading to Baruch. Amber's sister lived in another penthouse, and it was reported that Whitney Enriquez admitted that she was mostly drunk when she lived in one of the apartments between 2014 and 2015. Yet, in her testimonies, Amber demonized only Depp. When Amber's attorney, Elaine Bredehoff, asked Whitney if she was on any drugs at the time of her residence, she surprisingly stated, it was a rare occasion when I was sober. Meanwhile, friends then occupied the other penthouses. Amber Heard's companion, Rocky Pennington, and her then-husband, Joshua Drew, also lived at the property rent-free, while at this time, Depp's sister was out due to frustration from the paranoia star. Three of the units were connected via doorways, with another used by Baruch as his home and art studio, and the fifth was a guest suite. The five Posh penthouses reportedly cost Depp a combined $7 million to own, the Los Angeles Times reported. A floor plan of the penthouse level of the building was submitted as evidence to give to the jury, showing the apartments featuring large windows, rich dark wood flooring, tall ceilings with mezzanine levels, and industrial-looking staircases. Christy had planned to live in one of the houses with her family, but Amber ensured that never happened. The actor's eccentric style is displayed in the property's design with a mix of sleek modern kitchens alongside colorfully decorated bohemian-themed bedrooms and art deco bathrooms, with color expressed throughout, as described by real estate experts. One of the residents, Depp's friend Baruch, had fond recollections of this time of almost semi-communal living, reportedly remembering the group all becoming good friends and entertaining in each other's penthouses. While living there, the former couple was adjacent to the building's rooftop pool with views over the city. Depp's sister was the first witness called to the stand during the hearing, and she definitely proved not to be a big fan of Amber probably because the actress chased her away from her superstar brother. When Depp and Amber moved in together, Christy testified his mood changed. He seemed sadder, she said. The two often argued and Christy said she made sure there was always an extra hotel room booked whenever they traveled together. I saw a repeating pattern happening in life. When we were kids and arguments and fighting would start to happen, our first thing was to hide and get away from it, she said. Since I recognized what felt to me a pattern that was a repeat, a pattern from his childhood, I wanted to make sure there was a place he could do just that. She said that Amber, who was in her 20s at the time of the relationship, derided Depp and called him an old fat man. When Depp told his then wife that Dior wanted to do a campaign with him, her reaction was disbelief and disgust, Christy said. She said, Dior? Why would Dior want to do business with you? They're about class, they're about style, and you don't have style, Depp's sister told the jury. It was insulting, taking away that one moment that insult is there. I have seen the insults multiple times. She eventually left the penthouse for Amber Amber's freeloading friends and family, and I'm sure Depp regrets that allowing to happen. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!